Moving forward, let's talk about some chemical bonds. So this is what holds the atoms together within a compound. So how, that, how they're stuck together. We'll talk a lot more about these um, further in the semester, but let's just kind of get a few introductory things out of the way. So chemical bonds result from the attractions between the charged particles, that would be protons and electrons, that compose the atoms. Remember that positive and negatives attract each other, opposites attract, and light charges repel. Now, there are two types of bonds that we're gonna talk about here. The first one is ionic. So these are ionic bonds. This happens when metals, remember where metals are, metals on your periodic table here on the left side. So metals are going to lose one or more electrons. When you lose electrons, you form a cation. That means it's positive. So, and then nonmetals. So nonmetals are here on the far right. Not noble gases. Well, noble gases are nonmetals, but they don't form anions. So they're going to gain electrons and they're going to form anions, which have a negative charge. And so positive and negative charges um, attract each other. And they're going to form an ionic bond. Ionic bonds are very strong. So in an ionic bond, the electrons are considered to be transferred. The second type of bond we'll talk about are covalent bonds. This happens when you have a nonmetal and it shares one or more electrons with another nonmetal. So the important thing to remember here, covalent bonds are nonmetals with nonmetals. Ionic bonds, metal plus nonmetal. So that'll help you remember it when you're reviewing. So the shared electron is ultimately considered lower in energy because it's, in, it's attracted to the protons in both of the nuclei and the atoms. So for my visual people, Look at this. Here's an ionic bond. So you have two, these are neutral atoms. So this is this would be your metal, and this is gonna be your non-metal. So the metal is gonna lose the electron and it's going to give it to the non-metal. So the non-metal is gonna gain the electron. So this is the transfer that occurs. Then you have the positive charged metal cation, the negatively charged non-metal anion and they stick together just like a magnet. Very strong, very hard to pull those apart. Now in a covalent bond, you have a non-metal and a non-metal. They each have an electron. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna share it. So what it looks like is these two single electrons get shared and notice that it, they're attracted to the positive charges in both of those atoms, so they're shared. Turn the page. 